Hi, I'm Susie. I know I've showed you many ways to form a nail with a paper form. But did you know that there's metal forms? Let me show you how they work. Let's get started. So paper forms are a piece of paper with a sticky back that you peel off and you form it on. I've got a video about that. You can check that out. But metal forms, they do the same thing. They're made of metal, so they're more rigid. They can be a little easier if you're having difficulty with the paper form. I've given this to some students and they do like it better. So I want to show you how they work. They're in this package. Now, okay, so metal forms, you can reuse them which is an advantage if you want to. You can only reuse a paper form on the same person, maybe once. But I really find you don't really want to use them, on other people especially. And they lose their shape after a bit, so I would just use them once. But a metal form, you can use over and over and over. How they work is the same premise you want to put them under. I'm just going to primer this nail. I've prepped this nail ready to go because I do want to show you how that goes. So here's my metal form. It's very rigid. It's got these metal pieces and the metal piece is also in the side. So these are very rigid. The metal itself is quite rigid as well. It's a very foiled surface. So you can clean that with acetone if you get any product on there. Now this band here across the top, if your natural nail is very long, this could get in the way. And my nails are a bit on the long side. That means from the cuticle to the free edge, they're kind of long. This could get in my way, so I'm going to just pull this back just a little bit. See? So how you place it is, this U shape up here still goes under the nail up here. So we are going to take that and place it right under there like that, nice and rigid, get right under there. And then you're going to squeeze these metal pieces together. Now see that metal band? Just make sure that's not going over top of your nail. And then you're going to squeeze these pieces on the end. Normally with a paper form, it's so sticky, you can hold it together like that. I would prefer that shape, but this is not going to do that. Let me get my glasses on. So that's about as good as I'm going to get that guy there. See? So they're quite rigid, but that's quite snug under there. That's fit really good. So I'm not just going to show you how it goes on. I'm going to show you how it also performs. I've just got some acrylic here. Doesn't matter what you're using, whatever product you got hand. I just want to show you how it works. So my natural instinct is I want to pinch this. That's a downfall of the metal form is I just can't pinch this together. If you had a clamp, you could just hold that together with a little clamp, but I don't have one. We could use a paper clip. Mm. I don't have one. I got one. Want me to get it? No. Oh. Well, then. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> Thank you, cameraman, but I don't think so. Because then I have to slip it over top of that and... Nah. You're welcome. Because <laughs> I can pinch the nail, too. Okay, so I'm going to get my powder ready. I'm going to put on a nice little sparkly stuff. Every time that I put down a sparkle, I always want to put down a bead of acrylic first protect my natural nail bed because when you're doing a client or yourself there's a good chance that, that client's going to come back they're going to want to change that their sparkle getting it off of the naked nail bed every little sparkle is very difficult so put down a very thin layer of gel or acrylic or whatever you're doing always before you put down a sparkle on the natural nail bed. I guess it's somewhat like a base coat, right? Because I'm gonna be working with the glitter next, I'm gonna build that out a little bit on the free edge. And you'll be able to really see how this works. Just place it right on top, just as if you were using the paper. It is no different. Look how simple that is. And it's holding in place pretty good. I'm just going to bring in this little cherry pink color. We could just throw it right on top. 
kind of want to see what this is going to look like. It's very pretty. And I was going to take it right down to the cuticle. Just as a side note, if you are going to use this particular color, it's rather see-through. So by putting this nude color underneath all the way, it's going to let the sparkles not be so see-through. It's a little more opaque, which I particularly like. I didn't want it to be see-through because I really wanted you to see it. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is a cherry pink color. This is not uh, sponsored by Max. This is not paid for by Max. None of the above. I'm simply using this because it was a really pretty color. It went with my colors that I'm wearing and I wanted to be able to see it with a sparkle. You can really see it when I lay it down. I thought I would just get a look at what color it looks like. Okay. The metal form stayed in place really well. So like I say, when I have students and I'm getting them to form, forming a paper form for sculpting a nail is quite a technique within itself. It's very hard to do. It takes a lot of practice and every finger you get at the nail table is different than the last person who just left. So you're custom shaping a form to every single person. And until you do everybody, <laughs> you haven't done every shape, right? It's quite an art within itself. So the metal form, if you're getting frustrated, can just help you a little bit because it's just a little bit more rigid. Okay, there you have it. That is a acrylic formed nail on top of a metal form. Works out rather well. I don't know if we need a reveal shot, but I feel weird if I don't do one. Let's let's take a look at the reveals. Hey, cameraman, what do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Great. <laughs> So taking it off isn't very difficult either. You just want to squeeze it together and you basically pop the acrylic off and you literally can just open it up in the back and just slide it out. It's as easy as that. <laughs> you can see it. It wouldn't normally be on that long. It's because we were shooting the video. Do you see that? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's hilarious. That's because we did the reveals. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we did the reveals. That's yeah. funny. Okay, so that actually worked out. It's a great alternative to a paper form if you're having any difficulty whatsoever. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.